Hi everyone, welcome back to Handling Outdoors. Now in today's video, I'm gonna put the all new Insta360 X4 360 degree recording action camera in a crayfish trap underwater in this beautiful river. This will let us record this, but all around at once underwater in a crayfish trap in 4K in every angle. This is by far one of the coolest ideas I've ever had. And this is the all new Insta360 X4 from the 360 action camera manufacturing company called Insta360, the latest and greatest one. And this is their main lineup of 360 cameras, like Insta360 X1, X2, X3, and then this is the X4. They come up with one every two years. And this camera has a massive upgrade versus its past model, the X3. But one of the best things about this is this can record 8K 30 FPS in 360, which is 4K all around when you reframe it. And all a 360 camera really is, these are usually action cameras and they have two lenses, one on each side, they're each warped. Yeah, they can kind of view more. And when you send it to the app, we can easily reframe it. It looks amazing. Sometimes it's kind of weird. But the only catch is there's this issue with all 360 cameras where when you record any video or take a photo or time lapse on these things, you're going to need a dive case when you go underwater because it'll look blurry if you don't. So I bought one. And for more information about the $500 Insta360 X4, I have this video right here. You can also see a link in the corner, which if you click it, it'll bring you right to the video. All right, so guys, let's go grab the crayfish strap, set up the Insta360 X4 and set up the bait and let's go put it in the river. guys it's all ready to go Put some anti-fog 10 moisture packs right in there let's do this guys we've got some um, bait fish I believe these are herring or anchovies cured salmon eggs We got the X4 set up right here. I hope it's angled correctly. Let's add this and that to it now. I sure hope this doesn't, doesn't fall or it's at the right angle, uh, but let's pack it up and bring it down there. All right guys, so it's down there. I think it's good. I, uh, I, this is a good thing because I thought I saw a crayfish right next to it. Be back in about an hour or two. See ya. And if you enjoy the outdoors and the content we do here at Henley Outdoors, sometimes we're just salmon fishing or exploring a lake in my dad's professional salmon fishing boat. Sometimes we go camping or hike up in the mountains to go fishing in lakes. We also sometimes do videos about GoPros or even crayfish in a river. Sometimes we even put GoPros in crayfish traps. Most of the time it's just epic adventures in the outdoors in 4K. So make sure to subscribe if you enjoy content like that. There's a lot of things to this, and there's probably gonna be an issue. Thankfully, there wasn't, but then we, we ran into an issue. <laughs> but, um, the issue is, because I spent $30 less, which was $100, but it was $70 because I bought an off-brand dive case, and it said it was completely clear, and so, basically works the same as the official Insta360 one. And you see this right here? The 360 footage, there's a little ring here, which is kind of annoying. And so that's either because the company lied, um, because they said it was completely clear, basically, or maybe it's just too close because when 360 cameras are close, it matches with this, it messes with the stitching lines and it kind of gets annoying. And, and so yeah, that's the issue, which is okay, but at least we got, actually got a 360 footage, so let's uh, check it out. Oh. Wow. Fish are starting to flow and it's only been like it's been like 30 to 50 minutes it's actually it looks pretty good there's still a ring around the stitching line just because 
today in case it sticks out a little bit. Oh, guys, you see that bullhead down there? There's like a little bullhead. Um, I wonder if there's minnows swimming by. Let's speed this up. Wow, dude, it actually looks pretty good. All 360 cameras record in like 360, 30 FPS, like 5.7K or 5.6K, which is when you reframe that's 1080p, but this is 8K 30 FPS. So when you reframe that, it's 4K 30. There's many other cool things you can do with 360 footage. So uh, let's do that. All right, guys, so let's go check the crayfish trap. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it got it on there. Oh, dude, I think it's just on the edge. Yes, yes, I got it. Oh, yeah, there's stuff in there. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to guess we have like 10 now. Ooh, there we go. Nine. Ten. <sighs> yes. It's completed. Yes. 52%, that's a good sign. All right guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see you guys in the next video. Maybe there's a part two. You could suggest other content or improvements. Maybe uh, ask me, or maybe even ask me what you wanna see in the part two. If this video does good, I'll get a professional case and it would be like completely clear, which I might already do that, but I should have done that in the first place, but I didn't think there was much difference, but there is basically. Anyway guys, see you guys in the next one. If you want to see a video about me putting a GoPro in a crayfish trap, well, there's an entire playlist about that, which you could access at the end of this video. But if you want to see the first video, which I collect exactly 36 in 1 hour and 15 minutes, check out this video right here, or click the link in the corner, bring you right to it. Anyway guys, stay outdoorsy, and uh, see you in the next one.